Tonight's big story, fit for the job. There are new concerns tonight about the mental state of a Milwaukee police officer in the center of controversy. Richard Shane is that officer fired by the police chief last May for punching a female suspect who was handcuffed in his squad, but then he got his job back last week. Myra Sanchez is live at City Hall with what's next. Yeah, this is where a very unusual news conference happened this afternoon. City Hall right behind me. Milwaukee Alderman Joe Davis addressed the media asking for an investigation into the mental health of Officer Richard Shane since this whole case began. The man involved in this incident, Officer Richard Shane, seen in this September 2011 squad car video, punching a handcuffed woman, is once again in the news. Milwaukee Alderman Joe Davis is asking about Shane's mental health. Not at the time of the confrontation, but since Shane was investigated and fired by the chief. Davis wants every officer in District Number 7 to give testimony about what Shane was like mentally during that time. Was there any concern with Officer Shane's mental health status by an officer or commander of the Milwaukee Police Department after the internal investigation concluded and Chief Flynn gave the order? to fire Officer Shane and thereafter. Richard Shane has been in the forefront of controversy. Last week, an angry crowd came to the Fire and Police Commission meeting to protest the fact commissioners voted to give him his job back and instead give Shane a 60-day suspension. When I asked Alderman Davis why he's concerned about Shane's mental health at this point. The Milwaukee Police Department had another issue like this, and that was Officer Glover, where he was fired, got his job back, and he was fired again. And a tragedy happened. In 2006, another police officer, Alfonso Glover, was charged with homicide after he shot and killed a man during a traffic altercation. He was off duty, and an inquest jury recommended no charges. The DA at that time went ahead with charges, and Glover then shot and killed himself. About the concerns about Shane and the comparison to Glover, the Milwaukee Police Union had this response. We certainly heard uh, Alderman Davis's concerns. And like I said, Alderman Davis is a credible individual. So if he knows something that we don't know, uh, we're certainly going to look into it. Alderman Davis says he wants this investigation completed by December 24th. Now, the Fire and Police Commission and the District Attorney's Office says they really don't do this kind of work. They don't do mental commitments. Alderman Davis asked both those agencies to work on this. However, one person told me if there was such paperwork, that would all be private. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Myra Sanchez, Fox 6 News. What about Shane himself through his attorney? Any attempt to reach them? And what are they saying about this? Yeah, the attorney did not return a call. Um, that's pretty standard. However, there is this meeting tomorrow in which the Fire and Police Commission does determine if they should uh, indeed fire Shane again. So all those parties are expected to show up then. Myra Sanchuk reporting live outside City Hall. Thanks.